Hi friends! I'm back with a new topic. Today I'm going to talk about family, more specifically how to talk about your family to other people, to foreign people. So I want to talk about two things, just two, but they're very important. First, this is uh, especially important when talking about your children. First, do not make negative or disparaging comments about your own kids. This may be okay in Japan, but it's not okay in the US, Canada, many, many other countries. Disparaging. Do you know what that means? It means criticizing someone in a way that shows you don't respect them or don't value them. Disparaging comments are always negative, bad. So, if your child's teacher or if your friend or someone says, oh, your son is so smart. You should say, thank you. Or even, yes, I know. Thank you. You should never say, him? No, he's stupid. This idiot. No, don't do that. Or if someone says, oh, your daughter is so cute, you should say, thank you. Or you can say, yeah, thank you, just like her mom. That's okay. Do not say, no, 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 not cute. Got it? Okay. This goes for other family members as well. Your husband, wife, anybody. If you get a compliment, say thank you, and you can even agree with it. Don't say anything negative. My students' parents do this a lot. I'll tell them, oh, your daughter's English is really good. Good job. And the mom, usually the mom, will say, no, 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 she's not good. That's terrible. I know it's a cultural difference, but I do strongly believe if you say your kid is not good in front of your kid, that's not going to be good for her or him in the long run. I think parents should be proud of their kids, especially when they do well. So I tell these parents, don't say that. You should say, thank you. Americans in particular are really proud of their kids and vocal about that pride. People are proud of their kids in Japan too, but American people will tell you about it. Things like this are really popular. People will put this kind of sticker on their car. It basically says, my kid is smart. My kid did well in school. And everyone can see it. Some people think it's stupid. I think it's stupid to brag about your kid by putting a sticker on your car. But it's popular. If you go to the US, you'll probably see it. Here's another example. My mom got this shirt for baby face. Look at this. It says, it says grandma's a little genius. Cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, so he can't even speak yet, but he's got a shirt that says he's a genius. Of course, we don't seriously think he's extremely intelligent, above average. But 
we have this kind of thing. We don't take it too seriously, but it's there. We're proud. <laughs> proud of our family, kids, grandkids. And that's okay. A little bit. Don't want to go overboard. And the next thing you should keep in mind, or remember, when talking about your family, is use their names. This is interesting. A difference between Asian countries and Western countries, or English-speaking countries. People's first names are important. That's what makes us an individual, our identity as me, my first name. So, yes, I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, a friend, but I'm also me. My name is Laura. But I realized when my students are talking about, especially their spouse, their husband or wife, they'll always say my husband or my wife. They don't say the name. Say the name. So for example, you could say it like this. If the person doesn't know your spouse's name, you can say, ah, my husband Bob, he really likes soccer. My husband, Bob. Now you've said his name. That's your husband, his name is Bob. And after that, you just call him Bob. Bob and I went out to dinner last night. Bob wants to watch a movie later. Bob bought some tickets to the soccer game. So the first time you'll say, my husband, Bob. And after that, refer to him only as Bob. Got that? So if you want to talk about your wife, Miho, you'll tell your English-speaking friends, teacher, co-workers, my wife, Miho, is coming to the party this weekend. My wife, Miho. And then after that, you refer to her as Miho. Miho made me a nice breakfast this morning. Miho's really mad at me today. I didn't do the laundry when I was supposed to. Okay? Good. So remember, names are important. And if you don't use the person's name, it sounds like you're not being so friendly. It sounds strange if you always say, my husband, my husband, my husband. What's his name? He's not just a husband. He has a name. Tell me. Now, I think maybe in Japanese, it's a little strange to call someone for example, your co-worker's wife, by her name, if you don't know her very well. That may be a little creepy. Ah, how's Miho doing? It's a little weird in Japanese, but it's totally okay in English. So if you meet your co-worker's husband or wife, you should find out their name, ask them, they will tell you, and then, of course, you're going to call them by name. You're not going to call them Frank's wife. You call her by her name. That's a really interesting difference, but important. Keep that in mind when talking about your family. And not only husband or wife, but also your children. My son, Kentaro, or my daughter, Kunika. And people will also use their family's names when talking to you. So, unfortunately, you may have to remember many names. Wives, husbands, sons, daughters. You gotta remember. Because they're not just wife or son or husband. They have a name. And you should use it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please like it and subscribe 
for more videos. And if you have any comments, put them down below and I'll read them. Bye!